Emily, fantastic. We 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 had you back. We were worried for a minute behind Hello. the scenes, everybody. Um, <laughs> but we've got Emily Jones now. And this is really exciting because uh, Emily's talking about breaking the glass ceiling um, for female SDRs. And actually, for the first time ever, the majority of our SDR speakers are female today. And I think that's a great um, illustration of how much um, new um, progression that's being made at early stage SaaS companies, um, hiring and developing female SDRs. Now, Emily is currently um, an, an account um, development rep for Clean.ai, which is a London tech startup uh, founded by the ex-chief data officers of uh, Trainline and Just Eat, uh, Design Connect Data uh, That Matters. Now, actually, you were previously an account manager in quite a different industry, um, and you were you were previously working for a wine company um, before moving into SaaS. And what I'm really excited about, and this is something that um, you know we really consider when we think about putting the speakers together, is that Emily has only been an SDR for a month, so she's already been nominated for her experience and how she's demonstrating her thought processes. So Emily, the next six, seven minutes. Brilliant, uh, thanks James, thanks for the introduction. Um, firstly, I'd like to say if, if anyone had told me that I would be speaking today um, to encourage more females into this space, I would have honestly asked you what you were smoking. So um, just to kind of make that clear, I don't profess to be a leader in this space at all, um, but certainly I want to kind of share some of the conversations that I've had with female leaders within this space and how that might translate into actionable and uh, more accessible um, targets targets for SDRs who are looking to start their career in, in sales. So I'm going to work through a time structure. So I'm going to go with a really horrible past horror story um, from a senior female leader in the space that kind of showed me how to channel negative energy into a win. Uh, I'm then going to move into what I understand to be the present landscape of, uh, of sales nowadays and how we can kind of leverage our female powers um, as early on as the recruitment stage. And certainly I'm then going to address the future of women in tech and what steps we might be able to take as SDRs to kind of drive that diversity in the industry. So um, my first story, uh, as I said, is going to begin with a female protagonist, Katrina, for the sake of the story, we shall call her, and uh, a male protagonist, Colin. Um, so Katrina was on a corporate golf weekend uh, with a bunch of her male colleagues, um, and Colin had been kind of inappropriate for the whole weekend, making dodgy comments uh, throughout the weekend. But the sole, the sole goal was to sit down at this dinner and win new clients, and that was very much on Katrina's mind. Um, so she sits down at the table and she's about to have dinner. She's chatting to a prospect and she suddenly gets interrupted by a waitress who brings over a dish um, that uncovers underneath is a soft shell crab. So Katrina kind of looks around the table in total confusion as to why this soft shell crab has been brought to her. And she looks at the top of the table and she sees Colin and a few other male colleagues kind of smirking. Um, so she kind of thinks to herself, right, I'm just going to need to ask who ordered this. So she asked the question, who ordered this? And Colin proudly stands up and pronounces that he'd ordered it for her because she reminded him of a soft shell crab, hard on the exterior. But if she was cracked on the inside, she would be succulent and juicy. Now, this story is horrendous. But what did she do in the face of adversity? She grabbed the lid she put it back onto the platter and kindly said to the waitress apologies I didn't order this she then turned back around to her prospect and continued a conversation about Napa Valley wineries um, fast forward to a few years later she finds herself at a conference and she gets a tap on the shoulder and this man says are you Katrina and she confirms and she says so sorry I don't I don't remember where I know you from he said we've come specifically to this conference to do business with you uh, so she obviously asks, how do I know you? It turns out that that man had actually been sat at the table that night and said that that story had haunted him for, for his rest of his days. And not long after that, they signed a multi-million dollar deal. So I guess the uh, the whole takeaway from this for female SDRs in this space at the moment is, yes, you're going to have shitty days. Yes, you're going to have days on the phone where you're facing adversity constantly, particularly as a female. And it's important to just learn to absorb that energy, uh, maintain the focus that, that it's not about you, it's not personal, and then wait for an opportunity to turn that round into a win. 
So now I'm going to move into what I understand to be the present landscape uh, of sales and try and, you know, target some of those myths that still exist. So I think uh, in sales, certainly there's still this notion that a sales salesperson is a used up car salesman who, you know, is going to do you a dodgy deal. I think what's interesting about the tech industry in particular is, um, you know, now we're more digitally savvy. Uh, our buyers are more self-sufficient. They're more well-informed and their expectations of salespeople has shifted. Um, and addressing and understanding customer needs has become more important in sales success than um, merely persuasion capabilities. So um, there's been recently a study on into the kind of emotional intelligence between the genders, um, which has shown that females score higher on emotional awareness, interpersonal relationship and empathy. I'm going to share a story with you on how I leveraged this um, to get my job in the first place. So uh, Sophie, our previous speaker, um, she was placing me in a role. And the moment she told me that I was going to be working with Clean AI, I immediately went on to LinkedIn. I added everyone in the team and I started a conversation with as many of them as I possibly could. I got that initial contact and I started the conversation and built the relationship. And by the time I'd even got to the assessment center, I'd already had a well-established relationship with them. So I think the key takeaway here for SDRs is, you know, building that initial relationship is absolutely critical. So if you can leverage your own powers as opposed to trying to fit into a mold that's, you know, an antiquated ideal of what it is to be successful in sales, I think you're going to be hugely successful in the industry. Um, I'm now going to move on to the future. Of, um, of women in tech. As I said, I'm, I'm not very experienced, so um, bear with me. Um, but I think that's why it's quite important that I'm speaking today. Obviously, I only have a month of experience in this industry. Um, and certainly, I think that we need to start at the entry level of the funnel. So to give you an example of my experience, um, I had no idea at university that sales was going to be for me. Um, and certainly I had the opportunity to speak to one of my friends who works as an SDR. And he kind of introduced me to the advantages and, you know, the limitless possibilities of working within this space. Um, so I think what I would say to female SDRs who are just starting out is make sure that you network, make sure that you keep those connections going, um, try and re-educate yourself on what it is to be, you know, in the sales space nowadays. It's not how it used to be. Um, it's far more inclusive, but certainly there's still work to be done. Um, and I think one other point that I would like to make before I kind of wrap everything up, um, it's important for us to move beyond quotas um, and focus on the cause of underrepresentation in this industry um, as opposed to just merely the symptom. Um, and so I guess as my conclusion, um, I know I gave a rather kind of hyperbolic um, title that I was going to break the glass ceiling for female SDRs. But actually, I think, you know, what this is more about is the reason I'm here today is to raise this ceiling for others. Um, certainly, undoubtedly, the ceiling still exists, but the room to grow and manoeuvre is of far greater width and height.